Remember, this entire manga and every manga on this channel is hand-drawn by myself. And now you too can learn exactly how to make your own viral Dragon Ball mangas at www.makemanga.com where you can learn directly from me. My mangas have got me on TV, on newspapers and even earned me over $60,000 a month on Patreon alone. And now you can click the link in the description and pinned comment of this video and do it yourself. You only need to see the website to see just how many thousands of you are taking this opportunity right now. And don't forget also, the next video to this Ultra Vegito series has already been made and is live now on my Patreon right now for over 4,500 of you incredible fans to watch after this. Again, links are in the pinned comment and description. Enjoy! Kalifla! So our story continues with Goku and Vegeta running in sheer panic and dread towards the seemingly lifeless bodies of the two non-biological sister Saiyans of Universe 6. All the while, the alternate timeline trunks in the background would watch on in confusion. And eventually with speed, as Trunks would run to catch up in the background, the two sisters would already be in the hands of Goku and Vegeta. Kale in the prince's arms and Kalifla in Goku's. These two girls of course having all new appearances after their time in the Pyramid of Power earlier in the Ultra Vegito series. As Goku struggling to get through to her, would yell, Khalifla! What's wrong? What happened here? Come on, say something! But ultimately, the response from the younger female Saiyan would be completely mute, with not even the sound of faint breaths being heard back, as her skin now visibly paler than normal would only get colder by the second. Huh? Khalifla! As Goku, who rarely has ever held death in his hands, especially from someone so powerful, would only stare in disbelief for a second, before placing his two fingers on her neck, trying to sense a pulse and confirm whether the worst was really true. No! I can't feel anything! No! But as not even the smallest of bumps would be felt, Goku's energy would immediately rise as he would attempt to take drastic measures. I'm not letting you die, Khalifla! I'm bringing you back! as instantly entering his angelic seraphim stage 2 form with his hair now a vibrant white his eyes cyan and a cyan triangle on his forehead goku would begin unleashing divine energy straight into khalifla in hopes of reviving her a technique he had previously used to heal vegeta um. But after some time, Goku would stop, and the same eerie silence from the young girl would then be heard. Despite all efforts from the Seraphim, not even angels would be able to bring back someone from the dead. As Goku, looking down now completely forlorn, accepting her fate, would then comment, it's no use. She's gone, Vegeta. She's really gone. But not forgetting the other sister, Goku would then turn his head quickly and question, uh, What about her? Is it the same story for Kale too? Who could have done this to them? They were so strong. But Vegeta, surprisingly, Looking down would reply, uh, No! This one! This one's alive! 
Sis! Sis, where are you? As unbelievably in her mutters, faint sounds and sentences would be heard coming directly from Kale. No way! We gotta get her a Senzu ASAP! As reacting quickly, Goku would then begin rummaging within his pockets for a Senzu bean to bring her back to consciousness. Wait! Kakarot! Huh? But in a sudden twist, Vegeta would yell out for Goku to stop, as a puzzled Saiyan looking back would question, uh, What do you mean, Vegeta? Why? As with a hushed tone, Vegeta being the more mature of the two would then explain, uh, We can't bring her back here. We can't let her wake up and see her sister like this. I wouldn't wish that on anyone, but let alone Kale. You know what she's like. She's another Broly. As Goku looking down now, realizing what Vegeta was saying was true, would sadly reply, You're right. We'll break the news to her somewhere else. But where? Where do we go now, Vegeta? And with a serious look, but still coming to terms with the situation, Vegeta would just then reply, We go find Kaba and see if this bastard demon who did this took him out too. And with that, the prince would then take Kale onto his shoulder. In the emergency, all three Saiyans would then fly into the sky, looking for the third member of the trio of Saiyans from Universe 6. As left behind would just be Khalifla's lone body, now no longer with her sister. As when we would peer back to the deceased face of the young Saiyan, heartbreakingly, one final tear would fall from her eyes, as if a last goodbye to her adopted sister. But our scene would then change to finally back with the god killer Vegito and his force partner in crime Yamochi. Both stood within the castle confines of Sector 5, having just now opened the portal towards Sector 4. And as Vegito would approach the dark gateway, a smile would be on his face as he would whisper, Finally, Yamoshi! Finally! We get to see what the top four strongest emperors are like. Let's hope they make crime look like child's play. And though Yamoshi would remain silent, both him and Vegito would then step through and... Uh, <coughs> but only to face a complete surprise once they would be through. <coughs> what the... Vegito! I... I can't fly! As suddenly, in what looks like an infinitely dark expanse of space, the God Killer and Third would find themselves not stepping onto any ground, but instead falling instantly straight down a bottomless pit. And interestingly, as Yomoshi said, with no recourse to go back up, as for some reason, their ability to fly had been stunted. <laughs> He's right! I can't fly! What's going on here? And as Vegito would look behind calmly at Yomoshi, confirming this... Stop looking at me and look down, you fool! Yomoshi, in a complete contrast, would be screaming with great intensity, with his mouth and eyes wide open as looking past the God Killer. He would see something 
that would need both their attentions and ASAP. We're done for! As with their bodies increasing in momentum and speed every second, they would race down uncontrollably, and below them, a strange fixture would be seen. An army of sharpened spikes, bunched together, made from an unknown material, ready to impale both Saiyans on their inevitable arrival. <laughs> made of pink goo or not, this is going to hurt! Got any ideas, mortal? <laughs> How primitive! As Vegito, annoyed by the situation, would just think for a moment as he would continue to fall rapidly. <laughs> I see! As looking up to the air, Vegito would then notice the existence of what looks like a platform. A solid mound of ground floating in the sky, defying the laws of physics. <laughs> so that's how this goes! As now realizing the quirks of this particular sector, Vegito would only giggle before... <laughs> unleashing his God Slayer Energy Blade of all things. Extend! As shooting the blade upwards mid-fall, the God Killer would aim directly for the platform above. Immediately piercing it right through, using the energy blade as some sort of makeshift grapple hook. <laughs> Works like a charm! Now, to get that other clown! As immediately halted in the air, as Yomoshi would continue to fly down, the God Killer's grin would only grow. <laughs> Before aiming his other free arm right towards the third until. <laughs> Super extending his arm piccolo style, Vegito would grab a surprised Yomoshi like a helpless child. Not so fast! As with insane velocity, the God Killer would then toss Yomoshi straight up back into the air and towards the platform above. All the while, Yomoshi's screams would change from one of fear to one of lost control. <laughs> Ultimately succeeding, however, and allowing Yomoshi to land on his feet with a thud. <laughs> Hold on! I'm coming, clown! As Vegito next would then quickly retract his blade, getting him closer and closer to the platform himself as the blade would get shorter. <laughs> and before long, with a leap of his own, Vegito would reach a top of the floating chunk of land, as now both Saiyans would be stood upon it, contemplating their next move. With Vegito, with his arms folded, letting out... Always a gimmick with these sectors, aren't there? If it isn't the weather, it's now something stopping our flight! How interesting. This reminds me of a fight I once had against a destroyer. As Yamoshi, not taking too much of the God Killer's words in, would continue to just look up and say, It's true. This is going to be a hindrance, especially once we have to fight. But on the bright side, at least the path is clear. Look above you, kid. As finally revealed in the Saiyan's eyeline would be the task ahead. As hundreds 
if not thousands, of floating platforms would exist above, all rising towards an unknown goal. And with no other path visible, this would be all that would be left in between Vegito and his next demonic victim. <laughs> Perfect! I bet these fools really think a little exercise will slow me down! You thought wrong! <sighs> As Vegito, accepting his task, would begin to duck his body down, putting on a smile, readying himself to challenge the obstacle course ahead. As suddenly, circling all around his feet, bolts of crackling lightning would spontaneously emerge before... <laughs> See you soon, demon! As rushing forward with insane speed, even without the ability to fly, with the strength of his legs alone, Vegito would jump between the platforms instantly leaving just dust and after images behind. While Yamoshi, watching on, would just comment sarcastically, <laughs> Yep, don't mind me. I'll catch up in a second, you freak of nature. <laughs> Sorry, old man, but I haven't got time for you slowing me down. It's been one too many hours now since I got to fight someone worthy. And I'm not waiting any longer. <sighs> and like a bullet, Vegito would be gone in a flash. Jumping so fast between platforms wouldn't be long before hundreds would already be clear. <sighs> And indeed, eventually, right above at the precipice, one final platform would remain. One far larger than any of the others. As baring his teeth, overjoyed, the god killer would comment, One more! So this will be the battlefield! The stage is finally set! As leaping with speed and grace, Vegito would then prepare to land, his body leaving a trail of lightning as he would descend. Until eventually, his feet would make their long-awaited landing. <sighs> Done! Yamoshi, can you hear me down there? As Vegito, now finally on the battlefield, would be quick to peer around, darting his eyes in every direction, hoping to finally see the Demon Emperor of Sector 4. But as Vegito would remain for a period silently and patiently waiting on the platform, he would soon realize not even Yomoshi, let alone a Demon Emperor, would be anywhere to be seen. And with his impatience building, the God Killer would then look up and yell, Enough with this! Come on out already, demon! There's nowhere for me to go. So show yourself! Even crime had enough honor to do that! And for a minute, no more would be heard until finally... Please, do not mention that inferior worm's name here. I have already arrived. As behind Vegito, her voice would now be heard. <laughs> As finally now revealed, the Demon Emperor of Sector 4 would stand. His skin purple with black accents, short in stature, but his likeness unmistakable to the late Kid Boo, 
as placed at a distance away from Vegito on the battlefield with his arms folded. He would continue. I see you managed to make your way here, even with your wings cut. More than I could say for most of my challengers. <laughs> to which Vegito would just reply, Most of your challengers weren't Saiyans. It's to be expected from my kind. As with a slight peaking of curiosity, the demon would query, Saiyan, is that meant to be your mortal species? Surely, after all you have done to get here, you don't equate yourself with that part of you anymore, do you? Tell me, what do you see yourself as, God Killer? No god, apparently. But to believe you will actually take down the devil himself? You must know. Just as defeating me will make you the demon emperor of this sector, defeating him will make you the devil! <laughs> but Vegito, just scoffing at this, would respond with his eyes closed. Gods, angels, demons, and more. In my once mission to exterminate the gods, I absorbed them all inside me. But contrary to popular belief, I am not what I eat. I am what I choose. And I would never become what I hated most. I would never have become a god to accomplish my goals. As the boo-like demon would reply, Is that so? Well over here, you won't have the choice in that matter. As Vegito hearing this, continuing as he turns around would reply, I know, I figured as much. But the thing is, the gods and what they did to me are one thing. But Lucifer, for getting revenge on Lucifer, for beating me once, I don't mind becoming a demon myself. As suddenly opening his eyes to reveal blood red seraphim and a truly crazed face, the God Killer would reveal his lack of care for losing himself, prepared for whatever it took to defeat Lucy. <laughs> As not wasting a moment more, Vegito would then instantly launch a powerful burst of energy right at the back turn demon, as if throwing a baseball at top speed. And of course, on impact, an explosion of drastic proportions would then erupt, covering the entire platform in smoke and debris. <laughs> As the smirking Vegito would just comment, He didn't move! He's either really strong, or really damn slow. But as the dark smoke would begin to fade, and a dark silhouette would begin to emerge, <laughs> it would soon be all too clear why the Demon Emperor would have no reason to move. As cracking his neck, he would appear with virtually no damage at all. <laughs> Good! Now this should be fun! And jumping at his chance for a real battle, the God Killer would fly forward at max speed. His seraphim eyes now green, entering one of his strongest states right from the get go. As mid flight, he would yell Morning, you now! Don't stand still this time! Yeah! 
and as Vegito would swipe his leg across to attack the demon, the short emperor would seemingly heed his words and dodge accordingly. But as he would do so, he would launch a counter kick of his own. One which is caught by Vegito with gritted teeth. As presumably, even the God Killer would realize this demon would not be like the others. And following that brief skirmish, the two would then separate simultaneously, each trying to gain some breathing space. But only some, as behind Vegito, he would already be powering up a mysterious new attack, comprised of three small pure black spheres of energy. <laughs> Dark Dharma! As violently tossing the balls of energy, they would travel with a certain level of weight, as if their impact would be universe shaking. <laughs> I sense danger! And in response, the Emperor, somehow already anticipating this, would begin moving his tail from behind until... <laughs> instantly, showcasing his Kid Boo ancestry, all three balls would be grabbed and stopped in place before anything more could happen. <laughs> Missed one! That is until the God Killer would show his own boo abilities, stretching his head out behind the demon like some kind of vicious snake. As with his mouth opened, he would power up yet another Dark Dharma, one seemingly even more powerful coated in electricity before... in a vicious blast that detonates not only the other three, but also explodes through to the other side. An explosion of untold proportions would chain that ripples the frail platform once again. <laughs> and Vegito now having immediately retracted his freaky long neck back in place with a snap, would only sport a cocky smirk, now commenting, uh, I've been waiting to try that trick out. Good to know, it works like a charm. Consider it the opposite of a spirit bomb. <laughs> You're kidding me! But as Vegito's brags would begin, his eyes would soon pick up that not all was as it seems. As in the background, amongst the clouds of destruction, a floating ball of pink energy would then be seen, with yet again a blemishless demon within. But as the battle between Vegito and the Emperor would then carry on, elsewhere, Yamoshi would be making his way up the platforms, landing on the penultimate one before jumping again and finally reaching the final battlefield. <laughs> but once he would look and see the battle taking place, he wouldn't be able to help but feel a sense of shock. Looking on at the non-stop battle taking place in front, with explosions and debris going off in every direction. But the one thing Yamoshi would begin noticing is... Uh, this demon! He's just as strong as Vegito! As back in the midst of the battle, the demon emperor would be seen holding his ground against a giant energy ball. And when we would look at his expression, it would be clear he would be hardly under any duress at all, as even taking one of his hands off the energy ball, he would look into his palm and comment, uh, this power, before looking straight forward and coldly finishing, uh, 
This power is pathetic. <laughs> what did that brat just say? As a struggling himself to keep pushing the energy ball forward, Vegito would catch wind of the Emperor's comments, increasingly getting annoyed until... Uh, <sighs> in a flash, the Emperor himself, with the same outstanding speed he displayed at the very start of the battle, would appear right beside the God Killer, and with his hand gripping mysteriously onto the wrist of Vegito's. Uh, looking down, almost disappointed, he would then mutter, You become the new devil? What a silly pipe dream. I'll break your will, just as easy as I'll break your bones. Ugh. As suddenly closing his grip, as if there were nothing in between his fingers in the first place, a loud crunch would be heard. You little! Leading to a seismic scream from Vegito. Followed by another attempt at kicking the Emperor, all while his broken wrist would dangle in the air. But of course, the demon who still maintains a completely emotionless look would just dodge entirely. Before just as quickly moving back in front to slam his own fist right into Vegito's exposed liver. So fast, not even the green seraphim could keep up. And as he would continue his assault, with each blow, he would put Vegito down more, saying, You're neither god nor demon, just a weak flesh pile. Next, ripping the Saiyan's arm off, continuing, you don't even appear any stronger than crime! <laughs> then lifting him up with his tail, adding... Are you even taking this serious? What a real disappointment you are, God Killer! And as Yomoshi would watch on at all of this bloodbath, taking place from afar. <laughs> Vegito! His own anger would be building, but not out of sympathy for Vegito's pain, but rather annoyance, as he would grumble. I knew he got too cocky! I knew! He should have been absorbing these emperors! Now look at you, mortal! I won't let your mistakes decide the fate of the multiverse! As suddenly unlocking his Ikari God eyes, your Moshi would get ready to intervene. But as the smoke and dust would settle from the battle with the demon and Vegito. The God Killer, in a sight we had not seen for a long while, would be seen near defeated on the ground. His severed stump of an arm leaking blood, as he would think to himself, This demon! I can't tell if he's just that strong, or if this sector is doing more than stopping me from flying. I can't even heal properly! As before Vegito could even make sense of the situation, crashing down into him, two-footed would be the Emperor, crushing his internal organs instantly. 
as nonchalantly now standing over the god killer the kid boo-esque demon would face his palm towards vegeto and comment seems only at the end did you manage to figure something about this sector? Too bad, it's too late. Hakai! As suddenly spouting the words of destruction, it would seem like all would be lost before. As suddenly, Yomoshi, in his complete Ikari God form, would then appear, slamming his leg right onto the Emperor, who, though blocking with his arm barely, would be sent flying off nonetheless from the impact alone. But eventually, the Emperor would flip and regain himself, and curiously, Levitate in the air, despite the conditions for the other two sayings. Looking down now at your motion, wondering... Uh, that creature! Another mortal! No, that one felt divine! And that form, the sector's rules seem to not affect him! That attack, it felt strong! As Yamoshi, covered in lightning, would look back at the fallen Vegito and comment, That little demon is right about you. You aren't taking this serious. If you really want to back up what you're saying, beat the devil, become the devil, then you better use all the power you have available to you. That means absorbing every demon's power. And that means using mine, too. I'm done watching you let everyone down again. With Vegito uh, silently on the ground, now not saying a word, before getting onto his feet and miraculously in the presence of the Ikari God, his right arm would be fully regenerated once again. Placed right on Yamoshi's shoulder, as he would simply reply, Fine! I think I need you now more than you know, old man. As patiently watching above, <laughs> The Emperor would have no such mercy to allow their merger. Powering his palm, a ball of energy before... In a flash, a gigantic dwarfing sphere of pure destruction would now approach the duo. Causing one final explosion as all attempts at Vegito turning the table would now be gone. <laughs> Guess Sector 5 was as far as you could go. Not bad. Leaving the smirking unnamed Emperor to go away. But unfortunately for him, within the smoke, a dark figure would still be visible, and notably, just the one figure, not two. <laughs> <laughs> it feels good to be one piece again. As finally revealed, would not only be completed Vegito, now back with both halves of his full power, but for the first time, he would bear not only the demonic red seraphim, but the yellow seraphim of the Ikari God form. Half God, half demon. 
just what is Vegito now? But that was it for today's video, guys. And if you made it this far, leave me a hashtag fusion in the comments down below. And let me know just what is this new version of Vegito. Or just head over to my Patreon right now where you can see the full next video fully voice acted, soundtracked and edited for you to enjoy with over 4,700 other fans as well as getting access to 250 plus other fan mongers too. It's the deal of the century.